Okay, at some point you're gonna be working in the shop. You're gonna have a situation where maybe you don't have a good vise, which this one's junk. I gotta order another vise for this. And um, you've got a small piece of steel or you don't have a clamp big enough to fit over the piece you're working, right? So I'm gonna show you just a quick little tip that can help you out with that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna center up our piece right about there. We're gonna take a block of wood and we're gonna set it like a gate and just loosely throw it up here. And this is a quick way to help help you out, save you some time. I'm gonna tap it over a little. All right, now this whole drill, drill press has seen better days. And unfortunately for me, this has gotta be a tapped hole. So we got her lined up pretty good. We'll crank her down. And I'll just throw in another clamp over here. Just whatever you got laying around. I know all of us don't have the best tools, you know? Sometimes you gotta improvise. You could set up another one on this side. Well, I got a nice long piece here, so I can just drill it. Now I want to show you this. The drill is rotating this direction. This is where I've got my lever action. If this, when this breaks through, it's going to want to spin that direction. This is going to stop it from spinning, and it's going to hold it in place, and I've got a grip on it. So if you're working on a piece of flat bar, just take your vice grips and kind of brace it up against there on the other side, and you'll be just fine, or put another block of wood on the other side. Look, no hands. Watch. It's a great tip, guys. And yes, an old machine has taught me that. <laughs> Hopefully that helps you out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, you know, be ready for the rest of this build video. This is going to be something really cool.